I got involved with this with um, somebody, uh, Pamela, probably everyone knows Pamela. And uh, because I have brain tumors, like, you know, like 60 some years, 65 years. So I thought maybe it would help my trigeminal nerve. So when I put the patch on with Peter's guidance behind my ear, within 10 minutes, all the trigeminal nerve pain was gone like 95% in like 10 minutes. <clears throat> so my facial pain is greatly reduced. And um, I had an MRI uh, a week and a half ago, and I'm still waiting for the results. But in the interim, <clears throat> I, have, I had tumors on my thyroid gland, and they've been there for about eight years, and one that was 1.5 centimeters, completely gone. So we were kind of shocked, the doctor and I, and of course she doesn't understand what I'm talking about with the stem cell. And I said, well, I don't do any drugs, I don't do any you know, anything specific for the thyroid, but five, one and a half centimeters kind of big on the thyroid gland. So I was kind of happy that that went away. So um, I'm, I think the, the brain tumor, which has been there on the pituitary, it, it looks like it has changed shape, but not reduced in size. So I'm okay with that as long as it's, you know, doing something. But my facial pain is pretty much, maybe I get two to 5% occasionally, not chronically 24-7. So I would say the X39 is like a miracle for nerve pain for myself. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, and then when we hear a little bit more on your results from the um, rain, MRI. right, you just said it changed shape. We, we, were, we were waiting a week for, because she had the, had the test, so we were waiting to have her on the call, and then you still don't have the results. I know they're taking We're praying for because now that you don't have that pain. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you had the pain for how many years was it? Since I had brain surgery in November will be 40 years ago. So 40 years ago, you've had trigeminal pain. And yes. then the second you put on that patch, which you put it behind the ear, correct? I put it behind yeah. the ear right below. And you knew the right patches below. were. Oh yeah. Cause my neck has been torqued cause I was under surgery and my head was inverted for six and a half hours with no support. And so the tumor sits between the carotid artery and the trigeminal nerve. And so if my sinuses get filled up a little bit or I turn a certain way, my tongue spasms and my face spasms on the right side. So um, <clears throat> I would say it's about 95% totally gone with the nerve pain. And with the other thing that happened, I noticed I was always listing, I would like look like I was drunk and I don't drink. I would always list to the right and lose my balance. That's gone. Finally, I can walk down the street and, and stay in the line. <laughs> wow, that's yeah, awesome. That's well, thank you for the yeah. update. <laughs> Deborah, can you share with us who you are and what do yes. you do? So then uh, our viewers can really understand the power of your testimonial because you could even do yourself. So can you let us know who you are? So I'm a massage therapist, but I also do uh, work with a lot of clients relative to DNA testing because uh, that's something else I approach. Uh, once you know your DNA, there's supplementation that can compromise. An op you can optimize a compromised DNA profile. <clears throat> so I've been doing that and taking loads of supplements, but I'm actually now working on a book and X39 will be in the book, of course. Okay. But, yeah, because I do, I, fi I had to figure out how to function in my own life. I've been doing massage for 31 years. I have people from, I mean, all parts of the world come and see me because they just think I do magic, but I work on the tendons and ligaments and align the emotionality of the physicality of the body. It's very advanced and I don't know anyone that does what I do. And I just figured I should put my... My clients are telling me I need to release the wisdom of my hands in a book. So I have an editor. I started writing. And so I'm going to put my secrets out there. I'm hoping to have it done by the end of the year. Because <clears throat> the joke is, if you got a minute, you can change your life. Yeah. I mean, just, just through posture, movement, and, and uh, the emotionality. Because most of our physical pain is emotion stuck in our body. I have a degree in counseling. But people didn't want to deal with you know, the, the trauma of that. But your body stores a lot of physical pain. And there's so many, uh, let's say, journeys to that physical pain that can be addressed really on a very simple, even through breath work, you can get rid of pain. But the patches just seem to like bring it to a whole different level 
and then the emotions do come out um, so you don't keep stirring the physicality of your emotionality. Mm. So beautiful. Yeah, so with, I'm not a lightweight therapist, but you know, I, I get results and that's the key. And I get it also, like within, within one to two visits, you're out of pain just from the physical part and then dealing with breath. And then I do talk about the patches, you know, but I just wish more people would like, because it seems so esoteric, they have a hard time con with the concept of like a patch. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm like, I said, don't think so hard. Just you try. I mean, they want a drug reaction. Like you take a drug and you have a reaction. I'm like, well, drugs take over the, you know, the function of the organ. It doesn't cure you. I said, this actually goes in on a, on a really biochemical, uh, you know, pathway through the body and can actually help your DNA to heal. And I go, you know, I'd rather heal than be stuck on drugs the rest of my life. I do no drugs. They made me really sick. On another note, have you noticed anything about from your skin and hair? Because from the last time I think we saw you, I, I, I see a little difference. Have you noticed anything? My hair just grows a little bit faster. Yeah. <laughs> it hasn't changed color. It's still white. I love my white hair. I worked hard for that. 